What is up guys, Ace from Rashes here today with another review, this time on Skull Warrior. So, let's take a look at the box. First off, ages are 714, item number 70791. There are 102 pieces, and just a picture. On the back, we have a picture of him. Shows the combiner, may or may not build that, probably going to. Showing off the functions and the comic, just, you know, comic. Now we're going to go ahead and open this. Alright, so as with all of the skull villains, it comes with a infected mask. This one is the infected mask of ice. It goes from this trans blue to the gold. So just take off Kopaka's mask and put it on. That's what it looks like on Kopaka. I think out of all the sets, this probably fits in the most just because this set has the gold and then has a lot of trans blue. Now we'll go ahead and move on to Skull Warrior. Alright, here is Skull Warrior all built up. And this is definitely a really good looking set. It has a lot of things going on with it, so let's just start out with the appearance. So, for the appearance, really good looking. The only thing is that it does have this sort of trans red here, and some people aren't going to like the fact that, you know, there's a trans red piece just kind of there along with these toes. Personally, I think they're highlights and they make it a, a lot more eye catching, but other people aren't going to be a fan of that. So now moving on to the weapons. His first weapon here is this crossbow. This is definitely an interesting crossbow, but it is good because it has a lot of posability. Like if you wanted to, you could stretch his arm out all the way over here, kind of like this, and you can move his arm up. So he could have his crossbow kind of stretching out all the way over there, or you could have it sort of pointing down towards the ground. There's all sorts of things that you can do with this. It is very posable. So that's very good for people that want to just kind of collect this set they don't really want to play with they just want to have it on display so that's really nice for those people out there and second thing with the crossbow it is just like the protectors it's a stud shooter so basically this gear over here there are these studs and you turn the gear and the gear what it'll do is that it'll shoot out the studs and it is very nice because there are an extra seven studs with this set it's just like the protectors so if you lose them, you have an extra seven. So it is pretty nice to know that, you know, if you lose them, it's not the end of the world. You get an extra seven with the set in case you don't already have extra studs in your possession. He does have this extra spear. So basically what you do is you take off the crossbow and when you take that off, there's this little area that you kind of store it on the back. And basically if you take this piece off and they don't really have an area for you to store it, but if you wanted to, you can just kind of stick his crossbow back here, and I'll be on the side here, and then you can take his spear, and then this can act as an alternate weapon. You can attach it here, and you can have all the pieces there, and it'll be like this. So, this I think is really good, because it's nice to see sort of alternatives that you can have an extra spear, and you can have the gear function too, and just like all the others, has the friction gears. So you can have this in any pose you want pretty much. You know, if you wanted to, you could have this all the way up here. You could have him sort of aiming down like this. You can have him sort of holding up in victory. There's all sorts of poses you can do, and this gear function is stiff enough so it will be able to hold it. And also, if you wanted to say I had um like Kopaka over here, I can rip off this mask using the spear. So that's very nice because they didn't have to make the mold. They didn't have to, you know, go out of the way to have this little thing here so he could pull off the mask off some other guy. So it's nice to see, you know, Lego going out of their way to do that just to add to the set. So there is another function on this guy and that's with all the other sets. You just poke the ice off here. And after you do that, you can add on this. So this is the infected uh, mask of ice that you guys saw earlier. This is what it looks like on Skull Warrior. It's really random, it just it doesn't look right on him. And you know, that's how I think it should be. It's an infected mask. Obviously it was stolen from Kopaka, and you know now it's been infected. It is really random, so you can just kind of poke the ice sock again, and you can put on his regular mask. Yeah, that is pretty much it for Skull Warrior. Overall, this is a really good set. It might be one of the best ones, if not the best. I'm not sure right now, but I definitely would recommend this to someone. It's overall really good looking set. There's a lot of variety you give with him. The only real problems to me is that there aren't really a place that you can store this. Although if you really wanted to, you probably could store it back here. 
Yeah, so never mind. You can actually store that piece back there. But still, some people are going to be a little upset because there isn't any cover up for the back over here. So some people aren't going to like that. But other than that, I think this is a really strong set. This is definitely a good set. I would definitely recommend it to people. And I think this would probably make like a good gift for someone. So I hope you guys like this review. Let me know what you guys think of Skull Warrior in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.